Listen and practice. Hello, my name is Jerry Peterson. I am from San Diego, California, but I live in New York now. I have an apartment in New York. I am a student at New York University. I'm a student now, but I want to be a teacher. I want to be an English teacher. I am 20 years old and not married. I have a brother. His name is Charlie. He also lives in New York, but he is not a student. He is a software designer. He's married. His wife's name is Dana. I see my brother and his wife every week. It's nice to have family here. California is so far away. Listen and practice. The problem with travel. Most of us travel to school or to work every day. Maybe we travel by car to go shopping, or to visit friends, or by plane to go on vacation. Why should we travel less? Cars, planes, buses, and ships all put carbon dioxide into the air. This increases the greenhouse effect and makes our planet warmer. Vehicles also pollute the air with other gases. This makes our cities dirty. Airports. Are getting very, very busy. About 59,000 international passengers travel through the main airport in New York every day.
Listen and practice. It's very difficult to stop traveling, but we can think carefully about the way we travel. For short journeys, we can walk or cycle. This is also better than sitting in a car because exercise is good for us. We can share cars or use public transportation for some journeys. We can try to use small cars because they use less fuel than big ones. We should also reduce the number of vehicles that we make because we use fossil fuels to power the factories where we make the vehicles. Listen and practice. Bacteria. Billions of years ago, bacteria were some of the first living things on Earth. Bacteria are microbes that live everywhere, and there are many different types. Some bacteria make us sick, and some are very useful. Bacteria can eat almost anything. Some feed on waste, some eat oil, and some eat the food between people's teeth. Bacteria are many different shapes. Some are like rods, some are like balls, and some are curly. Some have flagella that look like tiny hairs. These move in different directions to help the bacteria to move around. Bacteria live in places like glaciers, high mountains, and volcanoes, where most other living things can't survive. Listen and practice. Solar energy. Another way to make electricity is to use the heat from the sun. Solar power stations only work well in places where it's very sunny all year long.
In many countries, people use solar energy from solar panels to heat water in homes, offices, and swimming pools, and to power watches, calculators, and road signs. In sunny countries, you can cook by using only heat from the sun. All you need is sunshine and a solar panel. Listen and practice. Nuclear energy. Nuclear power stations make electricity without using fossil fuels. They don't put carbon dioxide into the air, but they produce dangerous radioactive waste. This waste is put underground or under the ocean, where it must stay for thousands of years before it's safe. If there's an accident at a nuclear power station, dangerous radioactive waste can get into the air and travel a long way. In 1986, an accident happened in Chernobyl in Ukraine. People died, and many more people were sick. About 336,000 people had to move away to new homes. Scientists are working hard to make nuclear power stations safer. Listen and practice. Scientists think that Earth's climate is changing and the weather is getting more extreme. They think that this is happening 
because Earth is getting warmer. Why is this happening? And how can we keep our planet cool? Earth gets heat from the sun. Some of the heat escapes into space, but some is trapped by a blanket of gases. This keeps Earth warm enough for us to live here, and it's called the greenhouse effect because it works like a greenhouse. Listen and practice. Global warming. When we use fossil fuels, we make a gas called carbon dioxide. Scientists think that we are putting too much carbon dioxide into the air. The carbon dioxide increases the greenhouse effect, and Earth. Gets warmer. This is called global warming. Scientists think that global warming is changing our climate and making the weather more extreme. This is a problem for people, animals, and plants. Listen and practice. Well, everyone, welcome. I am very happy to have you all in my history class. I think we will all have fun. I believe that you learn best if you enjoy learning. The title of our textbook is "Great Events in World History." That gives you a good idea of our main goal in class. Our aim is to cover the greatest things that happened all over the world. Imagine the building of Egypt's pyramids, the glory of Rome, the American Revolution, the rise of the internet.
Listen and practice. Cleaner cars. Engineers are investigating how to make car engines cleaner so that they won't damage our planet so much. Instead of using gasoline, some cars use electricity, and others use a mixture of gasoline and electricity. Some cars use fuels made from plants. These biofuels can be made from nuts. Corn and other plants. There are also a few cars that use electricity made from solar energy. Maybe in the future, all cars will be powered in these ways. Listen and practice. Cleaner cars. Engineers are investigating how to make car engines cleaner, so that they won't damage our planet so much. Instead of using gasoline, some cars use electricity. And others use a mixture of gasoline and electricity. Some cars use fuels made from plants. These biofuels can be made from nuts, corn, and other plants. There are also a few cars that use electricity made from solar energy. Maybe in the future, all cars will be powered in these ways.